morning and welcome to St. Paul's Lutheran Church, Burlington, North Carolina, for this service of word and prayer on the Sunday, the 17th after Pentecost. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, for in your wisdom you have formed us. You feed the hungry and clothe the naked. We bless you and praise your name forever. You set free those who are bound. We bless you and praise your name forever. You raise up those whose courage falters. We bless you and praise your name forever. You provide for our every need. Accept our grateful praises. You have called us from all peoples. We rejoice and bless your name forever. You bless your people with peace. We bless you and praise your loving grace. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, for in your wisdom you have formed us. God has made us his people through our baptism into Christ. Living together in trust and hope, we confess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God of love, giver of life, you know our frailties and failings. Give us your grace to overcome them. Keep us from those things that harm us, and guide us in the way of salvation, through Jesus Christ our Savior and Lord. Amen. The first reading is from Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you mean by repeating this proverb concerning the land of Israel? The parents have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, says the Lord God, This proverb shall no more be used by you in Israel. Know that all lives are mine. The life of the parent as well as the life of the child is mine. It is only the person who sins that shall die. Yet you say, the way of the Lord is unfair. Hear now, O house of Israel, is my way unfair? Is not your ways that are unfair? When the righteous turn away from their righteousness and commit iniquity, they shall die for it. For the iniquity that they have committed, they shall die. Again, when the wicked turn away from the wickedness they have committed and do what is lawful and right, they shall save their life. Because they considered and turned away from all the transgressions that they have committed, they shall surely live they shall not die. Yet the house of Israel says, The way of the Lord is unfair. O house of Israel, are my ways unfair? Is not your ways, is it not your ways that are unfair? Therefore I would judge you, O house of Israel, all of you according to your ways, says the Lord God. Repent and turn from all your transgressions, otherwise iniquity shall be your ruin. Cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed against me, and get yourself a new heart and a new spirit. Why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of anyone, says the Lord God. Turn, then, and live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The appointed psalm is Psalm 25, verses 1 through 9. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, my God, I put my trust in you. 
Let me not be humiliated, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Let the treacherous be disappointed in their schemes. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. In you have I trusted all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your love and for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Gracious and upright is the Lord, therefore he teaches sinners in his way. He guides the humble in doing right and teaches his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are love and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. The second reading is from Philippians. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the Spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interest, but to the interests of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed me, not only in my presence, but much more now in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who is at work in you, enabling you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 21st chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus entered the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things, and who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them, I will also ask you one question. If you tell me the answer, then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? They argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say to us, Why then did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the crowd, for all regard John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second and said the same, and he answered, I go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said, The first. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even after you saw it, you did not change your minds 
and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. and everlasting God, you are worthy to be held in reverence by all the mortal race. We give you thanks for the innumerable blessings which, despite our unworthiness, you have showered upon us. We praise you especially that you have preserved for us in their purity your saving word and the sacred ordinances of your house. Grant and preserve to your church throughout the world purity of doctrine and faithful pastors who shall preach your word with power and help all who hear rightly to understand and firmly to believe your word of truth. Protect and prosper and defend your people in time of tribulation and danger that we in communion with your church and in unity with all Christian people may fight the good fight of faith and in the end receive the fullness of salvation. Upon all the nations of the earth bestow your grace. Especially we ask you to bless our land and all its inhabitants and all who are in authority. Cause your glory to dwell among us and let mercy and truth, justice and peace everywhere prevail. We commend to your care all our schools that virtue and useful knowledge may be nourished and the wholesome fruits of life may abound. We hold before you all teachers in this time of online learning and for those who gather in person that they may be kept safe, for all parents at home with children to facilitate their education there. In your mercy, O Lord, defend us from all calamities, by fire and water, from war and pestilence, from scarcity and famine. Protect and prosper all who labor and cause all useful arts to flourish among us. 
show yourself to be the helper of the sick and the needy, the comforter of the forsaken and distressed. We beg you, merciful Father, to hear the prayers of all those here at St. Paul's Lutheran and all who join with us in prayer online this day. Accept, we pray, our bodies and souls, our hearts and minds, our talents and powers as our offering of praise. And as we are strangers and pilgrims on earth, help us to prepare for the world to come, doing the work which you have given us to do while it is day, before that night comes when no one can work. And when our last hour shall come, support us by your power and receive us into your everlasting kingdom, where with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, God, forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Again, we thank you for joining us for worship here at St. Paul's Lutheran Church. If you follow the link provided in the video description, you will be taken to our Facebook page where there is a sermon printed on today's appointed readings. As always, the peace of the Lord be with you.